so we met on like for the first time after I was back and I said hey you you're dating someone <laughs> Oh it's been a while. I was, I was deri- like deliriously happy. Yeah, it's been a while. And then, and then she said, "Wow, well, I don't even recognize myself." <laughs> I remember, I remember so clearly because I felt that. And then I thought, "Wow, if this relationship breaks down, which I have a feeling it will, <laughs> it's going to be so bad." And it, true enough, it was. It was horrendous. Hello, welcome back to another episode of If You Know, You Know. And if you don't know, then maybe it's time to be a little bit more honest with yourself. Ouch. I, oh no, honestly, I felt that. <laughs> right? Today's question is, were you more attracted to their potential or who they really were? Explain. Brutal AF question. It's quite simple for me. It's definitely the potential. Mm. I saw... And I still believe that if whoever I'm talking about fully applies himself, I feel like a like a you know like a parent teacher conference. <laughs> yeah, fully <laughs> applies himself, he would be able to do a lot of good things, and he would be successful and happy. So I I hope he's. I his mom, eh? <laughs> I, I hope he's busy like living his best life or something lah. Actually, what well, like I used to be attracted to potential because I used to think like you know if he's like that now in the future like. That means that this can happen and mm. that can happen. Mm. But I would say with my most re- recent relationship, I was really attracted to this person for who they were as a person and not for their potential. I feel like we should. Ne- I should never be that forward thinking in a sense where like I should just enjoy. <laughs> I should just enjoy the moment as it is, you know, and just yeah. appreciate each day as it comes. This is what I have learned, um, very recently. But previously, I was I was always very drawn to like what could have been and what. Could be. Yeah, could be with with my partner. And on this episode, we are going to talk about your friends seeing red flags in your partner, but you don't. So, are you just choosing to ignore your partner's red flags? Like, what are you doing and what are you looking at? Ooh. And are you even looking at it? Like, do you see? Or are you just okay, wearing... I, have to, I have to be like completely truthful about this, right? Yes. That I totally... When, when you wrote this down, I totally got it. <laughs> and I knew what I was doing. Um when I was in that relationship and I felt like I felt like I was hiding not hiding him from my friends because I, I did want him to meet them but I would actively not tell my friends the problems that we were going through so I kept it all to myself because I didn't want them to see the red flags yes I didn't want them to oh know anything God. bad about him because if they, they knew even, everything, then yeah, yeah, it would be yeah. damn bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. <laughs> and to be to be honest, in the like in the beginning of the relationship, they didn't really, really love him either, you know? Like yeah. they weren't so thrilled about it the way that I was. Yeah. Yeah. So that, and maybe that's that should fucking be, sad. <laughs> no, but that should be a good indicator that Because mm. your friends want the best for you, I'm assuming. Yeah, of course, of course, of right. course. Right. <laughs> so why? Mm. Why would they not be happy for you if you if they feel like you found the right person. That's true, but on the other hand, it's like what you said. They only know as much as you tell them. Yeah. So you can choose to live in self denial, which is ignore your partner's red flags and just tell people what they want to know and what they want to hear. I I think <laughs> it's a little bit um difficult when it comes to maybe not facing up to your partner's red flags because sometimes you don't see it. That's true. Right? Your friends yeah. see it faster than you do. Yep. And it's kind of their job to... Not their job, but you know, you want them to tell you, right? Yes. But as a friend, it's hard to do that. We were having this conversation just yes. now. Yes. As a friend, it's really hard to do that because you see your friend so happy. You don't want to ruin that happiness. And that's exactly what I felt when Nicole told me about her partner. <laughs> I, ex-partner. Ex-partner. So we met on... Like for the first time after I was back, we met on um, Clement shoot. So we did an episode with Clement. Um, his podcast is Liquid Courage. Check it out. But... Or don't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but we met then and I said, hey, you... You're dating someone. <laughs> and oh, it's been a while. I was, I was deli- like deliriously happy. Yeah, it's been a while. And then... And then she said, well, I don't even recognize myself. <laughs> I remember, I remember so clearly because I felt that and then I thought, wow, if this relationship breaks down, which I have a feeling it will, (laughs) 
is going to be so bad. And it, true enough, it was. It was horrendous. And I didn't want to tell her because she's so happy. Like, why would you want to ruin your friend's happiness? But then, at the same time, if you don't tell them, then it's a little bit of a difficult situation to be in, right? You're caught in just like, caught in the middle. Really, yeah. Really, really. yeah. Yeah, yeah, And it was so funny because mm. now that I'm looking back, right, I realised that Rain's subconscious thoughts about this partner was right. Like, Rain was correct. But I don't know why, like, I didn't trust her. I didn't. I didn't really trust anybody else who told me that. Like, oh, this guy is like, like not, not good. Like, not, not good vibe. Mm. And, like red flags. But like, mm. I, I didn't see. It. I mean, I mean, until now, I still feel like he has the least, or maybe like not really that bad of red flags compared to my previous partners. But he has his flaws. I guess. I mean, as do we. Yeah. As we all. Do. Yeah. But I didn't see shit. But <laughs> he wasn't as major a red flag to her as. He was to maybe like the rest of your yeah, friends. Yeah, yeah, an outsider. Yeah, yeah. So what would you what would you have wanted me to do? Would you have wanted me to like tell you? That is a very good question, and I've been thinking about it since we talked about it just now. Yeah, because I feel like either option, I wouldn't be happy. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just yeah, a matter of when. I know what you mean. When am I unhappy? Like when am I more unhappy? And I don't know, like. If you were to tell me when I was in that relationship and in, in my peak of happiness and joy, right? Yeah, imagine like you just like ruin your friend's happiness eh? like, oh, he's a red flag, don't date him. Like what? <laughs> First of all, I'll be like, oh, oh my God, God. Are yeah. you even, like, do you even love me? Like, I, I just want to be happy. Don't you want me to be happy? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah I know what you mean. Because I didn't tell Nicole because my train of thought was that if I tell you that I don't like this guy, and then something happens in the relationship. And you need to turn to someone. You're not going to turn to someone who... Never approved of him. To yeah, begin because yeah. Your, your impression of the guy will only get worse, right? And which is also why I don't want to tell my friends anything. Yeah. So I totally understood that sentiment. Which is why I didn't voice my... True opinion. About <laughs> this, this, yep, la, for yep. this for this dude. <laughs> um, uh. Yeah, because I felt like after that, if anything happens, it'll just be easier to say. Rather than like That's feeling true. like you have to hide something. That's true. Also, I won't want to ruin a friendship just because of a partner. Mm. Like a friendship to me holds a higher priority than a partner because you would never know like what would happen with the partner. But I mean ideally friends are should be for life, lah. Yeah. Or a long time, lah, at least. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so like I don't know, like I, I wouldn't <laughs> You see, again, I don't know what's the right answer. And yeah. there is, technically, there is no right answer. I, I think, right? I think there's a way to do it. But it has to be a very soft and very gentle way of saying like, hey, I feel like maybe he's not right for you. Mm. But then, I also know that as two very stubborn people, <laughs> we won't listen one. We really won't. Like, we need to fuck up to learn. We're just that kind of people. Like, we, if we don't actually experience it ourselves, <clears throat> we won't understand where <laughs> you're coming from. <laughs> Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. Because I I don't know lah. It's just damn difficult because I know that people did tell me things at that point mm. when the relationship was going to shit, right? And I but think you of all people knew. That I already it was, knew. Yeah. yeah, I already knew, but I still wanted to hold on anyway. What? So if I knew, I knew, and I didn't even want to do anything about it. I just thought there was hope or something. Then was there oh. really hope? Yeah, then what What difference would it make if someone else came in? That's true. Me? I would have been like, yeah, I totally understand what you mean. And then not do anything about it. Am I going to do anything about it? No. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, you would get extra defensive. I feel yeah, like. like. I would have... I you would live have, in self-denial. I wouldn't have told that person anything yeah. after that. Yeah, yeah. In fact, like, you might even get angry. Which is totally understandable because... I think I, would, you, I wouldn't have gotten angry because I, I knew exactly where they were coming from because I was very self-aware. Mmm... Right? Yeah. And in yeah. fact, I would have been like, yeah, I know. I know, but... <laughs> that There was I once... I see, la, but like, I, I cannot do anything about it. You, you, you have... <laughs> there was once, right? Um, I... I... It was a super bad state. I, I, don't know, I don't know when it was not bad. But... <laughs> I don't know when it was not... Oh my god. I don't know when it was good. But there was once I went to my best friend's house. Okay. And it was the day... Like, the morning after, because we were fighting at night. It was the morning after I went there and I started crying. Oh no. And it was really damn bad. I went to my parents and I was just like, 
I don't know what to do lah. I really don't oh, know what to no. do. Like this, this, this damn bad, this damn shitty. <laughs> it's a damn shitty thing we feeling, right? And then, I remember this line I said. But I think, I, I think we will still get back together. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be complete, co- like completely realistic That's about, so sad. about what you should expect out of this session, right? That's true, that's true. Like imagine your friend tell you, you, you tell your friend, I think I'm going to break up with this guy. No, then that next day you get back together with me. A bit like, ugh, don't talk to you already. I also feel a bit hypocrite if I did that, like, and I told my friends that we were going to break up. Uh. <laughs> yeah. So I just wanted to set the expectation mm. that this is a damn shit relationship. But I think we still get yeah, 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 together. Yeah, Like, don't cross that line. Like, do not insult me any further. <laughs> like, because I will get offended and mad. <laughs> that is so sad. That's so, so, so I, sad. Yeah. And but, I'm just glad you're out of it, honestly. But the sad truth is that I think if your friends don't even see happy ending to your relationship, mm. the likelihood is that it won't work out. That's true. I think for me, a very good gauge is my sister. Mm. Like, because my older sister and I are so close and yeah. the moment things are serious between me and someone else, like, she's usually the first person I would want to tell. Did you tell your sister about? I did, I did. So, she was one of the first people that I told so because... Um, we have a pretty wide age gap and that was not something that I felt like people would understand because I feel and, like... You and the guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we had a nine-year age gap. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and to me, it's fine and to him, it was fine also but many people like would not like Clement behind the camera. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's really reacting, like, yeah, he's reacting shaking violently all over. <laughs> he was falling asleep a minute ago. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, we had a nine-year age gap and he's nine years older than me. Um, which coincidentally or not is the same age gap that me and my sister have, which is nine years. So yeah, when I told my sister, she was like, the first thing she said was, oh, huh? <laughs> Seriously? And then she said, okay, but be careful. Yeah. And I didn't but take why? that seriously. But why? He, is it because of the age gap? No, no. I think partially, yes. Um, but it was more because she, she told me like after that, like she just had a feeling. But has she met the guy before? No. No, no. It's just like whatever she knew was like the previous episodes. I mean, not the previous episodes, but the previous situations. It's just from whatever I tell her. That's usually like how she starts out knowing like whoever I'm seeing anyway. But the thing is, yeah, but the thing is, it's strange, right? Because you've probably only been telling your sister good things about the guy. Yeah. Yeah. How Very nice day. And I was. I really was. Um... I mean, if she took the age thing like a little bit too seriously, then maybe like that was one of her contributing factors to like, oh, you know, you should be careful. Mm-hmm. Um, because I know that throughout the time that we were like trying to date each other and stuff, me and the guy, like my sister was never really that happy, but she knew that I was crazy happy. Yeah, she was like, oh, you're going to meet like this guy, this guy. And I was like, yeah, yeah, like we're going to meet, blah, blah, blah. And even though like, I already saw him for like five days in a row, like we're still going to meet for the sixth day because like I love him so much. That kind of thing, you know, like, and she she would never be happy the way she would like last time when I told her about other partners. But I didn't think anything wrong with it because I was just like, oh, maybe it's just because she doesn't really have a concrete impression of him because she has never met him. Yeah, that's always the, yeah, that's yeah. Always the thing that I hold like yes. them firmly to. Yes. Because yes. they don't know him. Yeah. They haven't met him. They don't know him. you like I do. You yeah. Know? yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's the... That was, in some sense, like, my reassurance to myself of, mm. like, you know, I know him best. Mm. And he's better than my sister. So, it's a better indication of what I think of him compared to what my sister thinks. Yep. But no, I have learned my lesson that my sister is always right. Have you really? I, hope I you know don't... now, I know now. I know now, through a bad, like, through this horrible situation <laughs> that just happened. Wait, then, do you not know previously when your, your sister... No, because she never really had much of an impression. Okay. It's only, only this, this time because she actually outrightly said no. Oh, she did say like, no. She said, don't do it. Like, don't continue. He's sus. From what? From barely anything. I barely told her anything. The only things I told her okay. were all good things. <laughs> the only thing that I can gauge... Uh, did she see your stories? She did, she did. Okay, maybe it's the vibe. Because I saw exactly the same things. I guess lah, she saw the vibe. Maybe like Rain, it was just, yeah. it was just downhill. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I feel like... <sighs> I don't know whether this is a good gauge or not. But when someone brings you 
so much happiness to the to the like furthest end of the spectrum. Okay. Right. Like deliriously happy yes. like you were. Yes. I don't know whether that's a good sign anymore or not. Because isn't that too much of an extreme? My parents always told me that love should grow slowly. It should be cultivated. That's true. No lah, it was it was cultivated lah. I mean cultivated. <laughs> but then like also to put in so much emotions and emotional investment in the beginning. I know it's hard. It's a hard thing to not do because I also do it, mm. the same thing. Mm. But because of that huge chunk of emotions that you're putting in, maybe it feels like you're rushing into it. Or there's too many things, too many emotions at the beginning already that yep, there's yep. not much further to progress. Yeah, definitely. That. Some might say that. And, and that's what he said too when he broke up with me. Like we, were, like, we were rushing into it. Yeah, so that was the reason why he... Well, one of the reasons why he wanted to end it. And I mean, I, I understand. I mean, I, I do. I mean, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I mean, I, I do. I, I get it. Like, being serious, I actually do understand because to a certain point, like, Rain is right. Like, I was... I would even say obsessed. Yeah, but it's, it's the first time that it's such a healthy obsession. What do you mean? Like, no normally, Okay, no, no, no. Like, it felt really healthy because um, he was doing everything right by by my books. It was very unlike, like, let's say, um, in one of my previous episodes, like, we talked about um, the guy that I was seeing, like, having only replied me once a day. Yeah. It was nowhere near that with this guy. Okay. It was different, like, a good different. Okay. Yeah. And I figured also, like, if everyone knew that like, I was happy and everyone could see how happy I was, surely there was nothing wrong. You know what I mean? Like, surely there was not a single red flag. That's what I thought. La. And then everybody everybody started confessing to me what they really thought the moment they knew that we ended. <laughs> but, yeah, but the thing is, I don't know, I don't know why it's not, it's like wrong. I don't know why it's, I'm still trying to figure out why it just feels wrong to have like that much commitment in the beginning. I guess also it's like what you said lah like don't give too much at the start like the only person that you are not serving right is yourself eh? if you put in too much lah I'm just thinking okay I'm if I'm being like a black hair here right if the feeling is reciprocal then that's true I don't that, I don't know how to navigate this that's true no because because I totally agree like in that relationship it was so mutual like, I, I literally could feel the love seeping out of each other onto, like, the opposite party. That's why I thought that it was going so well and things were, like, things were fine. You know what I mean? Mm. That's how, <coughs> how like, dramatic it felt. I felt like I was in a, in a rom-com. Like, on the cloud. The peak. Yeah, I was on the peak of that rom-com movie. I, I, the thing is, I don't know why it feels wrong to be that happy. Especially in the beginning of a relationship. Because all we have known is trauma. <laughs> No, but I'm not wrong. All we have known is trauma. But it's, very to, it's very hard yeah, to break I, out of that shell. It's, it's, it's a bit difficult to pinpoint why it feels wrong to be that happy. But then... Maybe you should see a therapist. I did. No, I didn't. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. You did and then you did not. You tried and then you stopped trying. Because I realised I didn't want to do anything about it. I know, I know, I know. I know. Which is fine. It's, it's yeah. totally fine. Oh yeah, so why is it why is it wrong that I, I still don't know. Can someone explain this to us if you feel like you have an answer? Like put it in the comments or something. We would love to know. I don't know, la I, uh... I, I don't know so. And I guess it's a continuous journey that we'll continue to keep finding out as we keep dating or trying to date more people. Because I feel like every relationship, right? Like my my happiness process or like flow of emotions is always a little bit different. Mm-hmm. But underlyingly, like it's all the same. Like I pour my heart and soul into a person, or at least try my best to pour my heart and soul, and hope that they do the same. You know what I mean? Like, is it because it's taking away from you so much that maybe it's a little bit? It feels like it shouldn't be the case. I I I I'm not sure whether if that is really the case. Is it yeah. a good thing or a bad thing? Yeah, I don't know. Tell us the comments. Yeah. I I we. It's, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> she clearly has no thoughts. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but, but yeah. this is a constant question that I guess we will have to answer as we continue in our mm. romantic quest to, I don't know, find some 
somebody. Your, your friends, your friends will never wish. If they are your true friends, they will never wish the worst on you. And I feel like as much as it's hard to accept, I would probably want to know my true thoughts about what they feel about whoever I meet next. Do they think so? How would you carry this? experience based on like whatever you know that like you know those some some of those I, friends are just always right uh like how about you bring forth a new relationship into like this announcement that you're gonna make to them i have been more open about like a lot more open about like the whether if i'm talking to someone or like if i feel like wow this guy cannot mm. right i was straight away see it's a constant update it's a constant update right. with me and my friends now such that it's not a huge gap where they don't know what is happening. And then, oh, I have a boyfriend. Because <laughs> that was how it went, like, uh, with my previous partner. Mm. But actually, now I realise that I don't like to tell people anything anymore. Mm, why because is that so? I have a... F- There's always this lurking idea in the back of my mind that if things go south, I hate announcing bad news to people. Yeah. And also because whenever we meet they would follow up and ask like, hey, so how's you and like this person, that person? I, I think, hate Yeah, that. you told me this before. Yeah, 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 but I, I feel it. like it gets easier as you go along with it. It gets easier because it doesn't feel like, um, especially when you tell your friend stuff like step by step, right? It doesn't feel like a huge update. And it's true. Your friends can kind of see it coming lah. What if, if say <laughs> the previous update wasn't so good, then it's not like, an announcement of bad news like oh we're not together anymore that's true yeah yeah, yeah. I, I, I know what you mean Um, that's why in that sense like <laughs> actually I still haven't told a lot of people that I'm not in a relationship anymore oh what yeah 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 okay yeah, because every but it's single, so obvious yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like, I know, I know, I know. it's so obvious it's glaring in your face I know, I know, I know. Li- you literally <laughs> said it in a in a story you know did I yes you did you, th- you were talking about my close friend no Oh no. my god, I think... No, 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 no it's not my on your close friends. This time I was so shocked. I don't fucking post shit on my close friends anymore, actually. Yeah. Wait, when? No. Remember when I said, hey, you know, you just announced your potential breakup. Like, remember your your friend, your best friend. She was giving me a poster or something. And then you were just like, ha, this is something, 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 breakup. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> um, oh, I don't even remember me posting that. I must have been delusional. Yeah. I still am. It was a repost, I think, of someone's story. Oh, fine, I'm going to find it. Okay, anyway. So, <laughs> back to my point about, back to my point about not wanting to tell people anymore. Like, I would only want to tell people things if they're like concrete solid. And I think that's what is the mistake that I used to stumble upon. So you're saying that it's a bad thing. Like, I shouldn't be doing that. Honest, honest. Be honest with yeah, me. Yeah, no, 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 no. I don't think, I don't think it should be like a, especially with your good friends. Like, it shouldn't be like a quarterly update. Oh, definitely. Okay, if it's like with my you know? best friend. If it's yeah. with Celine. It like, I tell be... Celine everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's it's a constant, like... Yeah. Of course, you... but I would say even with my closer circle of friends, like, mm. I realised that the last two partners that I've had, when I broke up with them, it was completely out of the blue. Like, the reactions I got were legit, like, what in capital yeah, letters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It needs to be... If you, if you tell your friends... I don't know how. <laughs> if you tell your friends, like, oh, maybe it isn't going so well, like, break it. The same way that you would expect break your friends, down. <laughs> the same way that you expect your friends to to break the news to you that maybe they don't get good vibes from this guy, it's the same thing that you do for them. Like, hey, I don't think it's going so well because, and it's difficult to do because it you is. don't want them to have a bad impression of him. It is yes, work out. precisely, and most of the time it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, so maybe just have that mindset, and it'll be <sighs> easier for them also. I feel to guide you along after that. And I learned this from my friend. I learned this from my friend because he dates a lot, right? And then, no, seriously, he dates so much. Like, he's on every dating app there is. And I just... I just am really quite amazed at the amount of time he forks out to to do this. So, every time it doesn't work out with a girl, he will tell me beforehand, or like, he will say like, oh, I think cannot lah, cause the girl this, 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 or like, this was the impression that she gave me on the date. Okay. And it gets very easy to pick up like things after that. It'll be like, oh, okay, let's that's that's Because you already just know. Go on, la, yeah. just move on. Yeah. It's not huge news, but maybe because he did so much, it's not huge news. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> like, if it's not the same I'm not surprised, yeah, you know? yeah, you know, at this point, like, this is a different spectrum already. Yeah. <laughs> huh, okay. 
So what, should I be more vulnerable? No, I should just, just not open. Just more open. <laughs> it's not a good lesson to take away. <laughs> I'm kidding. Date whoever you want to date. If you're the kind of people that need hard lessons like myself and Wayne, you need to fuck up to learn. I'm so sorry we're in the Maybe same boat Maybe don't be so together. stubborn. La. Maybe don't be so stubborn. That's true. And always, always take your friend's words seriously. Like, don't just listen to them say that this person is bad for you and then like shrug it off. Like, actually go and internalize it and think about it and then see if that actually makes sense. You know what? It's I mean? very hard to do when it you're is, in the is, midst of a relationship or budding something. When you're crazy happy. Super difficult to do. But try yeah. your best. Try our best. This is what I've learned also and I'll continue to implement in my future love mm. life if there is one. <laughs> Come on, man. No, Come on, man. I can't. Like, I was so close to making 2022 like my non-dating year. And then in the end, like the one thing that I had fucked me over so bad that I'm just thinking like if 2023 this same shit happens, I am going to kill myself. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> okay, and on that note... <laughs> We will see you in two weeks. <laughs> yes. Bye. Because it's not okay. <laughs> Who's ever okay?